Hello guys and welcome back to the channel Tripura Broadcast. Lately I have been uploading videos related to Tripura assembly. But you must have guessed by now that this video is about a geographical aspect of Tripura. We all know what is the significance of rivers, ponds, lakes or any other water bodies in our lives is. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with this video. Welcome back guys, I am Swatik here with another aspect of Tripura and few interesting facts. But if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, make sure to do that by just clicking the subscribe button below and also don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified as soon as I unfold any aspect of this beautiful northeastern state Tripura. As many as 10 major rivers and 8 major lakes flow in Tripura and all these 10 rivers are rain fed and ephemeral in nature. And by ephemeral, I mean they are short-lived. And to be true with the fact, about 60% of residents of Agartala, the capital itself, depends directly or indirectly on river for both drinking water and domestic purposes. Talking about the patterns of these rivers, they majorly originate from hill ranges and shows a typical drainage pattern called trellis, except a few instances of dendrite pattern. All these 10 rivers generate an annual flow of 793 million cubic meter of water. I already uploaded a video about the North Tripura district and link of that will be in the description below. So let's today talk about the rivers of North Tripura. Among 10 major rivers of Tripura, 3 namely Deo, Longhai and Juri runs throughout North Tripura providing it with all the natural benefits of a river. Every little thing has a beginning and so does the rivers. The 13 km long Deo River originates from Jampu Hills and flows northerly through Kanchanpur Valley to meet the Manu River of Unakoti district. The basin area of Manu Deo stream is 1979 square kilometers which makes it second largest in the state. Next, there is this another northerly flowing 98 km long Longhai River in North Tripura which also originates from Jampoi Hills. It has got a bit dense zigzag path and at few points it even touches the areas of Mizoram and flowing through Damchara which is also one of its main basin. It crosses the Tripura border continuing its beautiful journey in another northeastern state Assam. With 342 square kilometers, Longhai has the smallest basin area in the state. Okay, so I talked about two rivers of North Tripura that is Deo and Longhai and a third one is Juri. It is only 79 kilometers long with approximately 586 square kilometers of basin area. This also originates from Jampui Hills. So basically all the three major rivers of North Tripura originate from Jampui Hills which is not only famous as a tourist place of Tripura but also for its oranges. Okay, so now adding to the profile of Juri, adding more to the profile of Juri, its main basin area is Dharmanagar, which is also the headquarter of North Tripura. And I guess by now you must have got a brief idea about all the three rivers that I talked. So that was basically everything about the rivers of North Tripura that I thought would brief the viewers. Unless and until you are a geographer or want to become a geographer, that piece of information would do perfectly fine for you. And now, if you find this video informative or useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video and if you have got any opinion, appreciation, advice or feedback, feel free to let me know those in the comment section below. But before doing anything, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so you never miss future updates from Tripura Broadcast. I am Swatik, signing off for now. Jai Hind, Vande Mataram.